basic tests to evaluate RP. Here is a basic list of exams done to evaluate RP. Gene test, ERG, OCT, visual field test, handheld ophthalmoscope, retinal fundus photography and IOP. Gene test, DNA sequencing, to determine the gene mutation type of RP. ERG, electroretinogram, measures the electrical responses of various cell types, in the retina, including the photoreceptors, inner retinal cells, and the ganglion cells, response to the visual stimulation, of the strobe lights flashed in your eyes, very diagnostic in RP, they use sticker electrodes, on your forehead and temples, and, either wire connected contacts on your eyes, or flexible wires, lying under your lower eyelid. Those, who are accustomed to wearing contacts, do not find this too uncomfortable, plus they use numbing eye drops. OCT, uses light waves to take cross, sectional pictures of the retina. Much the same as a CT scan, but no X-ray radiation, is involved. The machine looks like a short telescope, that you stare into for a very short period of time, using one eye, and then the other. A very quick test. Visual field test. You place your head in a large white shell. It will flash white dots of different sizes, and brightness intensities, randomly at different points inside this shell. You will be given a handheld thumb button, to press each time you see the light flash. This test shows, where you do and do not have vision in your visual field. If you miss a dot, the machine will go back, and retest to make sure, it was not just a mistake. The US Department of Social Security has set 20 degrees, or below in your best seeing eye as legal blindness, is greater than 2200 in your best seeing eye. The simplest exam, is with the handheld, ophthalmoscope. With it, the pigment can be visualized. Also, optic disc pallor, the whitish yellow circle formed, by the exit of the optic nerve, on the back of the retina, and RP associated vascular narrowing can be seen. All these are typical signs of RP. Retinal fundus photography, will yield a higher clarity of the retina, and pick up other defects. It allows visualization of the entire fundus at once, whereas the handheld ophthalmoscope, can only visualize small segments, as you progress through the exam. IOP, measures the eyeball pressure, and treat it if it is too high. RP patients, have a somewhat higher incidence of glaucoma, than the general population. Why do they repeat this test from time to time? Because RP patients, have comorbidities, that can be treated to prolong the remaining vision. The above list of tests, is the most important to confirm diagnose of RP. However, if the optic cells are in dormant state, it's hard to differentiate the dormant optic cells, and the healthy ones. That's why when patients do the follow-up tests, the results cannot show the exact vision condition. For more information about RP treatment, please subscribe our YouTube channel.